Ladies, earlier today, workers placed an American flag on top of that dangling crane you mentioned that's hanging over this portion of downtown New Orleans, and some residents were around to witness it. They had questions wondering what's next because this area that's affected is where they work. For a lot of people, it's just, it could have been me. I'm not here every day. Chastity Stevenson says she was spared from being a possible victim in the Hard Rock collapse. She takes that way to work every day. And I had just gotten off the bus, so it was still smoky. But she knows some families are still hurting from the tragedy. Two bodies remain in the building, and they won't be recovered until after it's demolished. Why? Like, why are there still bodies, two bodies still in there? I know they they feel like they did everything that they that they you know that they could do. I don't think they did. I think they rushed. City officials say they're doing what's best for overall safety and communicating regularly with the families, evacuated businesses, and residents. You know, I got a Bing on my app, Uber app. Uber driver Clarence Urquhart was picking up passengers downtown as that crane collapsed on October 12th. He says the evacuation zone has impacted his earnings. It impacted on. Alberville to go right, to come down Alberville, to go into the French quarters, everything's just jammed up every day. But the city says once the crane on Canal Street secured, the zone could shrink and allow some roads to open. Until then, people in the city remain hopeful for an ultimate solution. You gotta have hope to, to succeed. And if it's not for hope, you know, all, all the causes is lost. Now again, the security of that crane is pending safety review. Once it passes, some of those roads will allow to reopen and those businesses to have access to where they work, especially on Canal and Burgundy streets. That could happen as early as Friday afternoon. Reporting from downtown, Sherman DeSalle, WDSU News.